All right, joining me now for another edition of Know Your Knights NA3 AHL edition is Jake Foss. And Jake, thanks for, for taking a few minutes here to give us uh, a few of your thoughts. But uh, let's let's start here with, with your season. You're having quite the year. Um, tops in the Tier 3 tied with your teammate Josh Kim in terms of goals scored. Um, you know, just being able to add that to the resume in terms of having such a successful season, uh, what does that mean for you? Uh, it's going well, I guess, so far, I mean. Props to Josh. I mean, me and him, Colin, he's a good teammate, good line mate. Mm -hmm. It's fun to play with him. I mean, we know each other's games pretty well so far with Hendrick. I mean, we seem to be rolling, so, I mean, hopefully it keeps rolling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now, obviously, your team's doing quite uh, yeah. quite well as well. You guys are at 20-4 and four now. One more game before the holiday break here. Uh, but just in general, um, you know, you were part of that All-Star game this past weekend. Uh, Coach Fosco was just joking about it. It was weird for him to see you coming at mm -hmm. his goalie instead of uh, towards the opponent. But um, just first, let's start there. The All-Star game, uh, what kind of, how did that go for you? And, then, and uh, what kind of experience was that just being a part of uh, you know, a select group of guys? Yeah, you know, it was fun going against all of them. I think they had like seven of mm -hmm. kids from our team. And mm -hmm. it was just me and David on the red team. So... That was kind of interesting. I mean, I played pretty well. David played pretty well. He kind of gave, David actually gave me a nice breakaway pass that I scored on, which is, I like him, but. I mean, <laughs> got a little offense yeah, to add to that sauce. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was fun. I mean, going at it against them. So, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Coach was uh, just saying he, he wanted half a point to yeah. his score for uh, for that one. But um, just in general, this, this, you know, the environment of the team, you know, I talked to, to Zach about it a couple weeks ago. Um, how close is this group? I mean, it seems like you guys obviously have a lot of chemistry on the ice. You have a lot of success to prove that. But off off the ice as well, uh, it seems like you guys are a pretty close group. Yeah, we're pretty close. I mean, since train, or when we came up here in early September, mm -hmm. um, we got really close. I mean, a lot of the guys, we like to hang out with cameras after practice mm -hmm. sometime, grab a meal and go back to his house, play some video games and stuff. So, I mean, that's always fun, just build team character and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's going really well right now. I mean, the guys are flying, and it's going good. Now, uh, you know, obviously you had a strong weekend this this past weekend. Uh, you know, obviously the All-Star game, but then you guys win 7 nothing on Saturday and 15-3 to on Sunday, put up 83 shots. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you guys are a good team. You know, yeah. that's, that's obvious to anyone who's paying attention. But uh, how do you kind of, like, balance you know, both confidence and not getting too loose. I mean, I know I've talked to Zach about it, talked to Coach Fusco about it. How do you keep that balance in terms of just not overlooking anybody and just, you know, going out there and, and getting Ws? Yeah, uh, you know, every game is going to be a different scenario. I mean, we don't know who, what team is going to bring in a new guy every line or every game. So you never know what lineup changes are going to happen. So every game you just got to come prepared and ready to go because you never know what you're going to come up against. Gotcha. All right, now we'll flip it over to the uh, segment we call Rapid Fire. A couple of quick, easy questions here for you. First thing that pops into your head, uh, you can go ahead and say it. So we have Christmas and Hanukkah and then all the holidays coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've asked this to a couple of players, both at the NA3 and also the NHL level. Um, you, you, you get to pick any teammate and you get to pick anything in the world to give them. Who are you giving a present to and what's that present going to be? Um, I'm probably going to go to my boy, Jimmy Dravich, okay. and I'll probably try and get him something like a Daniel Sprong, like sign okay. stick uh -huh. or Jersey or something, because he, he's really in love with the guy. So he's a big Pens fan. He's a big Pens fan. Okay. So. Right. Yeah. Well, he was, you know, Sprong obviously was yeah. once in this building. Know, so. so Jimmy, Jimmy's trying to follow him those footsteps. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, how about you're a Connecticut guy, right? Yeah. You're from Connecticut. Yeah. So what's with the uh, Texas Rangers hat? Uh, I just like the hat. You like the hat? Any particular favorite team? And for baseball? For any sport. Oh, New York Rangers. New York so Rangers. Okay. Yeah, close, pretty close. Okay, all right. Yeah, I like the Rangers and the colors are about yeah. the same. So, okay. Um, how about this? You could pick any two line mates in the NHL that are currently in the NHL. Um, who would you pick? Uh, probably Patty Kane okay. and Sidney Crosby. Okay. Now, this question, um, I'm asking you, and it's you can say yourself if you want, but let's say you make this team... In NHL 17, your team that you know you're currently on, you make the Knights. You put every single player on the roster in there. Who do you rate as the highest player on the team? Probably my Bill brother Zach. Okay. He's got a cannon from the point, yeah. so <laughs> and yeah, it, it breaks it, my it, stick every other practice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, all right, we went through those. Let's let's wrap it up with uh, with this one holiday dish that you cannot live without. That can extend back to Thanksgiving. It can go all the way through New Year's. Um. Every 
Spanish fest. Uh, my parents or my mom usually cooks like ravioli. Mm-hmm. So okay. I'm a big fan of ravioli. Okay. So. Yeah. So I like that. I like your good Italian food. Yeah, Italian food. <laughs> All right, Jake. Well, we appreciate the yeah. few minutes here, and uh, we wish you luck this weekend, the rest of the way, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Sweet.